The draft of Labour's general election manifesto has been leaked. Now, it contains policies on nationalising the railways, abolishing tuition fees, and it also reveals a pledge of £6 billion of extra funding for the NHS. Uh, Labour wouldn't comment on the leak, but the Conservatives have described it as, yep, a shambles. Uh, the document is due to be formally signed off today. Our political editor, Ranveer Singh, is at Westminster Forest this morning. It's interesting, this, Ranveer, um, sort of whether it's a setback for Labour or whether it could be quite a clever idea for Labour. Well, it depends which way you look at it. Look, questions about how they're going to cost it, how they're going to fund it, they're not clear in this leak. And we know already, don't we, to their detriment, they have fallen foul of any questioning, really, particularly about those 10,000 police officers with Diane Abbott. I mean, that went terribly when asked about how that's going to be funded. So, yes, there's a problem there. Of course, this manifesto out today leaked. It means that people can pore over it for much longer than they can the other parties' manifestos. They're meant to be coming out next week so that isn't always a positive thing for a party but as you say you know whether this is a setback or not certainly there are ideas in here that may prove popular even though this is the most left-wing manifesto we've seen a really radical uh, bit of literature 43 pages worth let's take a look through some of the ideas uh, that have sort of left people a bit gobsmacked this morning six billion pounds extra for the NHS is what they're pledging that is more than the Conservatives are managing to pledge at the moment and here's the big one providing nationalized energy companies in every single region to compete with the private ones as well as taking state ownership of the railways and taking back control of the Royal Mail too scrapping university tuition fees of course that was brought in under Tony Blair but the cost of it tripled under the coalition and building a hundred thousand more council houses and reserving around four thousand of those for the homeless. Overall, Jeremy Corbyn's plan, the big idea, is to tax the rich. Individuals and companies tax their profits heavily so you can pay for all of these public services. 